Willpower alone will not get you to where you want to be in life. What is up my winning friend? My name is Zach and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to share with you one reason why willpower is not enough. And we're getting started right now. Willpower is not enough to make things happen. It may help assist you. It's a good thing to have. Don't get me wrong. You want to develop your willpower. Willpower is awesome, but it's not enough to make lasting changes in your life with everything. And uh, to give you an example, I struggled with smoking cigarettes for 20 years of my life. I started smoking cigarettes at age 9 years old. And I didn't quit until I was 29. It's 20 years of smoking. So it's like literally creating that neuro pathway, that habitual pattern of smoking a cigarette I strengthened that pattern over 20 years, so that was a very hard habit to break. That's how habits are formed, through neural pathways, from doing it over and over and over and over again until it becomes very, 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 very strong. And that's why a lot of things that we do in life are run habitually on autopilot. So with this smoking cigarette stuff, I did this for over 20 years and I tried to quit so many times in so many different ways and I did everything you could think of, everything, cold turkey, all this other, whatever you want to name it, I've tried it and it never worked. It may have worked for a week, it may have worked for a day, it may have worked for a month, but eventually my willpower caved in and I went back to smoking every single time and this was so frustrating and, and devastating and it, it started messing with me psychologically I got to thinking like does this have control over me I mean like this is the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with in my life w what is up with this you know and it wasn't until what I'm about to share with you that I was able to finally put down and get rid of the rid of this demon in my life now before I dive into this one reason why willpower is not enough, if you want some extra tools that are going to help you crush your goals and just dominate your life, head on over and download my free goal getter cheat sheet. It's going to help you tear it up, my friend. You could do so right there. I'll also link it up in the description if you want to continue to watch this video and go to it later. It's in the description. A lot of people, including myself before I learned this process, think that change is some long, hard, difficult process that it just it takes a long time because we've tried to do things on willpower and we have failed over and over again like I did with cigarettes and we, and we begin to think that change is just some long, hard and difficult, uh, hard process and, and and the reason why it is is because willpower alone is not enough. We don't have an effective strategy to make lasting changes and really changes don't take long at all it's the decision to find the change that makes that that takes a while it's a decision to find the change that ends up taking a while the key to make lasting change and to you know what you would want to coop with your willpower is and it's more important than willpower alone is uh to associate pain and pleasure appropriately and what i mean by that is like with my cigarettes I would associate pain and pleasure inappropriately before I learned how to do this like I looked at it from smoking a cigarettes from a short-term perspective it was pleasurable to me because it gave me the stimulation uh, made me feel good or whatever and I uh, associated pain with quitting because I would get these urges and I didn't want to you know be fiending I, I, I wanted to get rid of that urge and I wanted to smoke and I didn't really you know take in consideration the long-term aspect of that. I didn't link pain and pleasure to the long-term part of it and by shifting that focus and thinking of the long-term in mind because if you want any great success in life if you want anything if you want to be happy in life, you're going to have to push through some short-term pain to achieve long-term happiness um, and long-term pleasure. So I had to start associating pleasure with, you know, quitting smoking cigarettes and having my health back and pain of not smoking. So I had to switch it up to the short-term. If I don't quit right now, 
that's going to cause me so much pain because I'm going to have health problems in the future. I'm going to miss out on my son's being born and all that. You have to link these things appropriately. And for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to go all the way into detail on that. However, I did make a video on linking pain and pleasure appropriately, and you can check it out right here. Or I'll leave it in the link in, in the description either way. After we link the pain and pleasure appropriately, we got to find other things to replace these habits, to replace these behaviors. We got to replace them with empowering behaviors. So for me, for instance, I was doing push-ups every time I got that urge because the urge would only be momentarily. I'd only have to win the moment. And really what I was really uh, craving at the time was stimulation. It wasn't the cigarette itself, it was the stimulation, the habit of stimulation. So I replaced it with doing push-ups. And after doing this, you had to reinforce that behavior every time you get that urge, constantly reinforce it until it becomes uh, ingrained into your neural pathways. A good example is like with a, with a piano, for example. Uh, if you get a piano tuned up, you know, so it can sound great and spit out a great melody. Uh, if you just do it one time, the strings are so strong and thick that they will become loose again because they pull it's so strong. At what, so you have to come back and condition the strings multiple times. You have to have someone come and tighten those strings multiple times until you condition those strings to stay stretched out at that length. Same with our behavior. So you have to condition that pattern numerous times until it becomes habitual to us. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more videos on willpower, self-discipline, or just crushing your goals, be sure to check out this playlist right there. And if you know anybody that's struggling with something and they're just, they're given all the willpower, they really want to change, but they keep on failing, maybe you'd want to share this video with them if you care about them and you want to help them. This, you never know what the right message for the right person at the right time can do. That's what we're all about right here on Women Say. And as always, if you want to crush your goals and you want to dominate your life, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, my winning friend. I will see you next time.